Hello everyone. I am Chalamaridi. Welcome to CR Maths class. In previous class, we have completed level one, 12 problems. Now I am going to discuss the 13th problem. Students see the problem. We need to find A and C values. After that, sign inverse of A by C value we need. Now take the LCM. Denominators is going to cancel. Then uh, write the numerators. So directly I'm writing x plus 1 whole square that is equal to in right hand side a into x square plus 1 plus bx plus c into x bx plus c into x now see the left hand side what is say x plus 1 whole square is there. expand it x square 2x plus 1 here ax square plus a plus bx square plus cx. Here students, we need a and c value. Compare constant and x coefficients. Compare x coefficients and constant term. I'm writing only constant. If you are comparing constant term, what is a value? One. If you are compare x coefficient, c value, two. But what they are asking, sine inverse of a by c. <clears throat> that is equal to sine inverse of 1 by 2. Sine inverse of 1 by 2, how much? 5 by 6. Which option correct? First option. Now, 14th question. Number of partial fractions in x power 4 minus 5x square plus 1 divided by x square plus 1 whole cube. Denominator observe that that is second degree irreducible polynomial that to repeat it. How many times repeated students? Three times. So here let x square plus one that is equal to y. Then what is x square students? Y minus one. Okay. Now substitute in the question x power 4 is there. That is, we can write x square whole square minus 5x square plus 1 divided by x square plus 1 whole cube. Now substitute in place of x square y minus 1. y minus 1 whole square minus 5 into y minus 1 plus 1 divided by x square plus 1 means y. Now numerator expanded y square minus 2y plus 1 minus 5y plus 5 plus 1 divided by y cube. Here students observe that numerator highest degree 2 only y square divided by y cube. That is 1 by y. Minus 2y minus 5y minus 7y divided by y cube means we get a minus 7 by y square. 1 plus 5 plus 1, that is 7. 7 by y cube. How many partial fractions possible here? 1, 2, 3. So number of partial fractions. Number of partial fractions is 
only three. So second option correct. Students, all of you understood now. No need to substitute in place of y x square plus one here because they are asking only number of partial fraction. Uh, see the fifteenth question, same model. Number of partial fractions obtained from x cube minus three x square plus three x divided by x minus one whole power five. Here let x minus one is equal to y. Then what is x? Y plus one. Now substitute. Question is x cube. Minus three x square plus three x divided by x minus one whole power five. That is equal to. Now in place of x, substitute y plus one. y plus one whole cube minus three into y plus one whole square plus three into y plus one. Divided by y power five. Numerator observe that y plus one whole cube, a plus b whole cube form a cube plus three a square b plus three a b square plus b cube minus three into y plus one whole square y square plus two y plus one multiply with minus three. Minus three y square. Next minus six y minus three plus three y plus three. Now observe the numerator. Which terms is going to cancel? Three y square minus three y square cancel. Next three y three y six y minus six y cancel. Y three minus three cancel. Students observe that. What are the remaining terms? Y cube and plus one. Y cube divided by y power five. That is y square plus one by y power five. How many number of partial fractions possible? Only two. First option correct. By observing the denominator. The power is five. Don't say that the number of partial fractions five. Sometimes numerator, some of the terms is going to cancel. Okay, that's why do the calculation. Then you will get hundred percent correct answer. Okay. Sixteenth question. Number of partial fractions of Let's see the denominator part. Numerator is five x minus six divided by denominator. Observe that x cube, and here x square minus one is there. This is a reducible polynomial. That means we can write x minus one into x plus one whole cube, whole cube, whole cube. Next. 5x minus 6 divided by x cube into x minus 1 whole cube into x plus 1 whole cube. Denominator see that how many terms are there? 3 plus 3 plus 3 totally 9. How to split into partial fraction students? Generally I am writing a by x plus B by x square plus C by x cube plus D by x minus one plus E by x minus one whole square plus F divided by x minus one whole cube plus G divided by x plus one. Divided by x plus one, g h, x plus one, whole square. 
g h i by x plus 1 whole cube this is a simplification lengthy a b c d e of g h i values to find a b c d e of g h i values that is a lengthy process okay so this type of problems observe that how many partial fractions are possible 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so can take answer is 9 so which terms are going to zero we don't know exactly but that is a lengthy process those type of questions they don't give in the examination okay so finally what i am saying means here number of partial fractions how many students nine nine improper fraction what is improper fraction degree of f of x greater than or equal to degree of g of x then the rational fraction f of x by g of x is called improper fraction again here two types both the degrees are equal and degree of f of x is greater than degree of g of x so both the degrees are equal means that is case one how to split f of x by g of x is equal to k plus k plus uh, how to write this r of x by g of x r of x by g of x is proper fraction then what is the k means leading coefficient of numerator divided by leading coefficient of denominator okay if it is there greater than greater than then how to write q of x plus r of x divided by g of x that means we want to apply the long division q of x means quotient r of x means reminder after doing the long division then we can write in the form of a q of x plus r of x by g of x okay students now 17th question observe that numerator degree is 3 and denominator after multiplication x into x into x that is x cube so finally here degree of f of x is equal to degree of g of x in this case how to find the k value leading coefficient of f of x that means highest degree coefficient in numerator that is to denominator after multiplication highest degree coefficient is one k is equal to two by one that is two now see the options here two is there here also two here also two so fourth option absolutely wrong so now verify that first three options which one is correct okay now see here 2x cube plus 1 divided by x minus 1 into x plus 1 x plus 2 here k value is 2 write the 2 2 plus remaining terms split into partial fractions a by x minus 1 plus b by x plus 1 plus c by x plus 2 and uh, left hand right hand side take the lcm denominators is going to cancel now remaining i am writing 2x cube plus 1 that is equal to 2 into x minus 1 left right hand side take the lcm 2 into x minus 1 into x plus 1 into x plus 2 plus a into here denominator x minus 1 is there so write the remaining terms x plus 1 into x plus 2 plus b into 
here x plus 1 is write the remaining terms those are x minus 1 x plus 2 plus c into here denominator x plus 2 is there. write the remaining x minus 1 x plus 1 after taking the lcm denominators is going to cancel remaining part i am written now how to find abc values go to the substitution method x minus 1 is equal to 0 then x is equal to 1 take x is equal to 1 put x is equal to 1, 2 plus 1, that is equal to, first term completely 0, plus a into 1 plus 1, 2, 1 plus 2, 3, plus b and c both are 0. Finally, what is a value? 1 by, sorry, 3 by 6, 3 by 6, that means, 1 by 2. So here, 1 by 2 into x minus 1. That is positive. Observe here. Here also 1 by 2 into x minus 1 is there. Here also 1 by 2 into x minus. We need to find one more value. Then we get the answer. So, put uh, x is equal to minus 1. Minus 1. What happened? 2 into minus 1 whole cube, that is minus 2, plus 1, that is equal to 0, 0, plus b, minus 1, minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, plus 2, 1, plus, last term is 0. Finally, what is b students? 1 by 2, because here minus 2 plus 1 minus 1, this is minus 2b, minus minus cancel. b is 1 by 2, here we get 1 by 2 into x plus 1, where is that? Here only, but here is negative. So, already we are eliminated second option, whenever we got a value. Now, Third option we are eliminated. Here B value is minus 1 by 2, but we got plus 1 by 2. So finally, which option correct students? Third option. If you want to find C value also fine, no problem. X is equal to, X is equal to, take minus 2, substitute, minus 2 whole cube, minus 8 into 2, minus 16 plus 1 that is equal to this is 0 0 0 plus c into this is minus 3 and this is minus 1 overall c value minus 15 divided by minus 15 divided by minus 3 that means c sorry not this is not minus 3 plus 3. C value is minus 5. C value is minus 5. B value is 1 by 2. A value is 1 by 2. Overall observe that. Second option correct. Here observe that. Degree of f of x. How much? 4. Degree of g of x. 2, 4 greater than 2 now. Degree of f of x is greater than degree of g of x. This is improper fraction. In this case, we want to do long division. But see the denominator part particularly, what they are given? x minus 1 into x minus 2. Students here multiply, but I am writing directly. x square minus 3x plus 2. Now, now x square minus 3x plus 2. x power 4 is divided with x square minus 3x plus 2. How to do long division? You know very well. So here they are asking f of x means that is quotient. Quotient. What is the procedure actually, students? 
f of x by g of x is equal to q of x into sorry q of x plus r of x by g of x here they are asking q of x that is a quotient now see here how to do the long division multiply with x square x square into x square x power 4 minus 3x cube plus 2x square whenever we are applying the long division always subtract minus plus minus these two is going to cancel now remaining terms 3x cube 3x cube minus 2x square now now which term we need plus 3x multiply with plus 3x x square into 3x 3x cube minus 9x square plus 6x whenever we are doing long division subtract that means minus plus minus these two cancel now see here 7x square minus 6x now multiply with 7 7 into x square 7x square minus 12x plus 14 now subtract that means minus plus minus these two cancel plus 12 minus 6 that means 6x minus 14 here observe that this is the reminder r of x this is this is q of x this is r of x okay but here they are asking only quotient what is f of x value students finally x square plus 3x plus 7 they are asking only quotient they didn't ask the a value and b value okay finally third option correct this is a very very important problem either ip or m set whatever may be here i am done mistake here this is 3 into 7 21 three sevens are 21 by mistake i am written 12 this is 21 x now 21 minus 16 that is 15 x here reminder is 15 x minus 14 first denominator first go to the denominator x minus a into x minus b into x minus c multiply this is third degree polynomial equation you know that theory of equation x cube minus a plus b plus c into x square plus a b plus b c plus c a into x minus a b c this is now we want to do division long division so <clears throat> this i am writing in bracket x power 4 because uh, space is not sufficient that's why this total value x power 4 divide with x minus a x minus b x minus c. so we have to multiply with x then what we get students x power 4 minus a plus b plus c into x cube plus so here i am writing short form sigma a b into x square minus a b c into x now divide whenever we are doing long division always subtract minus plus minus plus these two cancel 
remaining i am writing here a plus b plus c into x cube plus plus or minus minus sigma a b into x square plus a b c into x now how to do that multiply with multiply with a plus b plus c a plus b plus c now here we get a plus b plus c into x cube minus a plus b plus c into sigma a b into x square plus a plus b plus c into a b c into x this is correct uh, x square right x correct minus a b c into a plus b plus c so here small correction how to write x cube this x square next uh, finally see that right here is our uh, somewhere wrong here is wrong in place of this minus a plus b plus c into x square into this this here is square square into x square plus a plus b plus c into sigma a b into x minus a b c into a plus b plus c now it is correct okay now we are going to subtract this a minus plus minus plus these two is going to cancel remaining is the remainder so this is quotient q of x so we got answer or not which option correct students fourth option next step observe that the term is x square but here i is degree x cube okay it is comparatively remainder is less degree so that's why up to here enough to do long division okay so finally we have decided that q of x is x plus a plus b plus c that is fourth option correct students we are completed level 1 next we are going to start level 2